Hey, welcome into this self-employed business loans up to $2 million and even up to $10,000 in 10 minutes, instant approval, same day funding. My name is Michael with Viral Funding Solutions. If this is your first time here, I want you to know that I've been a digital entrepreneur for many years. I'm also a business funding expert, a business loan broker expert, as well as a pre-underwriter slash underwriter. I run multiple businesses that I've funded in my time, and I've done it strategically, tactically, without going to the wrong source, being bombarded, over-promised and under-delivered, overwhelmed, pressured, sold to, lied to. And that was something in the very beginning, though, of my stages that I was going through and trying to figure out like who was the right source, the right entity, the right person, because people were steering me in the wrong direction from the beginning. Like perhaps you have been, perhaps you've been getting declined. I'll try to get into some of the reasons why that is. But today's focus, we will get into on the share screen in a second. And I'll go over a specific lender and organization that is amazing, exclusive partnership that I have. And what you can do to get this up to 10K same day instant approval funding. One other thing I want you to know, I'm very loyal. I'm a Libra, if that says anything. I have a lot of integrity, very trustworthy, reliable, accountable, responsible, punctual, disciplined. I value community, effort, attitude. My core values, vision, and mission in life are there as a person. And that's what I like to invest into is a person with the right characteristic traits, value, vision, and mission themselves in life and then in business and who you are and making sure you get the best and I have your best interests at heart. Now, the next thing, and then I'll get into the share screen. If this backdrop or you could say what I'm in right now doesn't look the same from the past videos you've seen, I'm at my younger brother's place looking over his dog. He has a corgi. I think he's right outside the door too. And I'm sitting on his chair he usually uses. This is not one that I like. It's not the race car type of thing that I like. It doesn't fit my personality and characteristic traits. So I don't want you thinking and stereotyping and labeling that in case you weren't. Okay. But I'm not into these kind of chairs. I like the more professional ones you commonly see me on. They don't have the right cushion ergonomically. And there's just a lot to it that I don't like. I feel like it's kind of childish in a way. But let me get into the share screen and go over this document on $10,000 same day funding without credit checks. So the self-employed, entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs, traditional brick and mortar businesses that you might have already, you might have multiple. Perhaps you're in real estate and you're a real estate investor looking for funding there too. I help out in that space as well with fix and flips, ground up construction to commercial, to residential, to duplexes, triplexes, apartments, all rentals, and much more. And a lot of this information, I'll leave you down below in the description. So in the in that part, you'll come to a page that looks something like this. You'll select from one of these two options and it says plus free, get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist and 900 plus exclusive free grant documentation list. That's always being updated and 900 plus more or less. And you'll be kept up to date with what's working and what isn't and what's best out there. And it's amazing stuff, stuff that you'd usually pay for I'm giving you for free. This here, some of the companies I funded, there are many others, but you see just some of them right there on your screen. And just some more details, you can learn more about myself. I'll leave a try to leave a video down below so you can learn more about my story, where I come from. But let's say it's non-startup, and then you'll fill out this form. Read through this. I'm very serious, so I just don't want my energy and time wasted. And you're getting somebody who's real as a person and somebody who cares about you, and like others who are probably cold calling you and Cold calling a business where you or somebody else has like obligated pretty much to pick up. But I don't want to deal with people like that calling me. I don't ever pick up on no number. I just have a different standard now in life. And I understand what it is like to be average. I was once there with a lot of this, but being where I'm at now and revenue hasn't changed me. Money doesn't change me. Money only amplifies more of who you are and never having that ego. And just always giving back to the community and having a larger mission in life and this being a huge passion project of mine that turned into something that I do very, very well at in many ways. And it's a core focus. And I have the other businesses that are outsourced and what I've done there. But here, 
name, revenue, collateral, if any. Please describe your financial needs here. Please be specific. ROI expectations you're going to get out of this in time, cash flow projections, profitability projections. Give me some numbers. I'm a math and system person. So the more you give me, the better. The reasons for funding, problems, all that. And so I'm not a creditor. This is just so I know I can pre-underwrite and I'll put together a very highly personalized and customized email response on your best funding option and options with the PDF. And I'll guide you on where to look at that PDF. I'll give you all these options and stuff you couldn't see publicly. It's amazing stuff. You can reuse it over and over again. And I'll show you how to submit things if there's a link or if I expect it this way. There's so much you'll have that others don't have, which they would have. And over here, 10,000 same funding, same day funding without credit checks. There's more than $10,000 out there. This is just one provider. And if you're generating usually less than 15,000 on your lowest month in the last 90 days, this is the better provider to go into. There's other providers, but this one is amazing. There's no credit checks and the flexibility and functionality behind it and how they streamline things is much more efficient and better than a lot. Now, if you're doing more than 15,000, maybe 50,000 on your minimum, doing 20,000, 25, 50,000 a month and whatever business you are in, construction, you can be in manufacturing, medical, home health care, retail, restaurants. I funded many people in these businesses. And even if you didn't get funding for reasons that you were declined or for other things, one thing that I realized a lot of is that people, we sabotage ourselves, not me at this point, but we sabotage ourselves and our characteristics get in the way. And it's unpredictable at times because we do something ourselves that inflicts with us going through because it's beliefs, it's fears that are getting in the way, confidence. And where does that confidence come from? Self-reflection and understanding yourself on a deeper level is really going to help you and grow as well as in your business. And so here there are more funding options, just so you know. So the form down below is the best place to get started to learn all about different options and what I believe to be the best since I'll pre-underwrite and make sure you get the best work. And here there's more information, self-employed, 1099 gig worker, contractor funding, all small businesses, usually contractors and many more. It's not just gig workers, but best option. You can use a personal account for business. If you're using a personal account for business, then this is your option. So I'm not going to go through each specific detail, but you see that here and for the types of businesses and even more and here are more details, same day funding up to 10 K approval amounts are usually 25 to 75% of your monthly revenue are the approvals. The rule of thumb, you do 14,000 in monthly revenue and the advance is 10,000. If you do like 5,000, 3,000 minimum, like getting past 50% is hard. Getting past even 40%, even getting 40%, more like 25 to 30, 35% with lower revenue. So anything less than like 7,500, less than 5,000, don't expect doing 3,000 barely. And you had a six months ago, you had like a 2,000 month or you're 3,000, 4,000 now down to 3,000. Like don't expect to get 10,000. 20,000. You grow your way up to that. And that's what you need to realize too, is take it in chunks if you need to. And even if you're at a higher revenue level, you're expecting 75,000, you're doing 50,000 a month. Now you get approved for 60 to 65,000, let's say, because at that point it's like 75 to 200% of an approval. Then, okay, can you start off with that? What's the benefit of using this? Does the benefit exceed your repayment? And this one here is a cash advance. So it's based upon your future receivables, what you're generating in future sales, what you're generating now. And it could be a higher rate, lower term. There could be three to six months. There's also out there four to 24 or so months. And usually at most, you get 18 months to start off. With. But you have to look at it as, do I need a longer term? Then you go two years, three years, because you don't know your exact ROI or you're getting into a catering business now of your restaurants. Well, I don't know what that'll generate for me. I'm testing. I might think this and that, but once I have actual numbers, average order value and all this other stuff, you'll know how to better plan for it. Then you go, maybe two years is better, three years, five years, at most 10 years. Okay, we'll go look at a bank term loan with two, three, five, seven years or so. Do we look at a personal loan within one to five years? That might be an additional option. Uh, then you have uh, an SBA loan, but do you qualify? That's the question. And does it make sense for you to get those funds? Is your revenue, your profitability, do you have a business credit for bank term loans, uh, SBA loans? You got to factor that in. And I can work with you from the ground up in building your foundation. The foundation that's the starting of the business, the formation of it, how it's formed, the credit and more. But it's also the person. The foundation is you as a person. And what you don't know hurts you more than what you know. Usually what you know shouldn't, but still can. And so preparing yourself as a person and developing this up here and being stronger and knowing that, look, 
this is a longer term thing, then that's where you find a lot more growth, delaying instant gratification. Same day funding up to 10K, average approvals, you see that right here, 75%, excuse me, average pricing, 1.39. So let's say you got a thousand and you're expected to pay back $1,390 on average. Example two, you receive 10,000, you pay back 13,900 $13, on a 1.39 rate. Can you pay that back? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, I can. Now, can you make more than 13,900? That's the question. Don't just break even, have a break even point. What's your unit per cost per good sold? What does it cost to sell that? What does it cost to make that? What is your overall unit sold in a month or whatever it is you're doing? You have to look at, can I make 15,000? I'm going to make 20,000. So I'm making 20,000 on 10,000, paying back 13,000. You're in profit, 30,000, 40,000. Can you do that? Or it's a temporary setback or a gain. Can you do that? Can you allow yourself to do it? So people think about this and they go, well, it's too expensive. It doesn't work. Well, because you're already in a deficit. You're using this as bad debt and you can't afford it. Uh, there are other funding solutions out there, though. Like I said, the questionnaire form, I'll show you more if those even make sense for you. And they're on a monthly schedule. They're on maybe over 24 months for you. And they're better handled because of a longer repayment means a lower repayment. A longer term means a lower repayment usually. So just makes you have to make do with what makes sense as well at times. Repayment discounts are available. If you pay back early, automatic weekly payments, no monthly options with this funder and many funders, honestly, within this space. Three to six month terms, renewals are usually 16 weeks, which is four months. More so for clients at the 3K minimum revenue level. Personal checking account, you can't use that for business. You can also have a business checking account. Your online banking is a set up, no FICO score check. This is a no credit check lender, which is amazing. California and New York are usually denied per laws and just like the others to be added or already added to. And so in that case, if you're in those states, they usually require four months of bank statements and you'll have to do a minimum of 5,000 per month. And those are credit checks at that point, usually. There's nothing wrong. If you have bad credit, this is a great option. If you don't, still a good option. And if you don't have good credit, it's hard to get a bank term loan or an SBA loan, even certain equipment loans. Even in the real estate space, to even get the better rates and all that, it makes it hard. So this is a good, flexible option. And then grow. I can help you create that roadmap for you, which is why in the questionnaire form, I can help you with. Uh, bank linking with Plaid, very reputable company. A lot of other companies use. Make sure you have your credentials ready. Some banks haven't teamed up with Plaid. It just doesn't work. No, about 5% or so banks in America don't link with Plaid, so you may be declined. So check with them, see if they can add that. If they can't, you might have to also create an account with Plaid themselves, and that could work. I've seen that. Qualifications, please read. 3000 plus in monthly revenue slash sales at 3K on your lowest month in the last 90 days. Four plus months, sometimes three, but usually four plus months time in business. Minimal non-sufficient funds, negative days, no more than five non-sufficient funds, negative days in any of the last three months. So it's a big thing right now from some industries and others, but I see that a lot when I read bank statements, tax returns I go through as well, and debt schedules, a lot of stuff. And I go, that is not going to work. You're bouncing checks, they're covering for you, non-sufficient funds, late fees, like there's so much, it's hard to justify. And even if you did get anything, it's projected to be a lot less than what you would, would have thought of. So current loan consideration, if you have a current capital advance, the amount you still owe will be taken into consideration and cause a reduction in approval amount. Four plus deposits is always best per month, but we are willing to see if three plus months or less of deposits make sense. Construction businesses are out there and the lenders are being more understanding that it's hard to get approved by a bank and the economics of things right now, market, inflation, a lot of stuff with different businesses being affected, supply chain, a lot. Uh, that even if you don't deposit that much, like maybe less than three, but you have to know how much you're depositing and if it's sustainable, what goes in, what goes out, cash flow, and more. How it works, I kind of give you examples there. I won't go through all of this, but if you generate this, it might be an example of that. If you not get all of what you want in one shot, get more, pay 50% uh, of it off to renew another one or get another position if possible underneath the same lender, or I go connect you with another lender. Uh, but after 30 to 45 days, then you might be able to get another provider if you generate the revenue enough of to be able to do that. But that's harder, especially when you're already starting with the lower tier, higher risk funders. But I'll guide you even more in time. So pay 50% of it off, try to renew that, get another one, get even more better terms, better rates, stuff like that. So payback amount, I'll give you examples there. And six month term, and then to get to 12 to 24 months, you need to be doing 50,000 plus per month. 
on your lowest month in uh, the last 90 or 120 days or however much the lender will last for in those three to four months or so. And to get seven to an 11 month term, you need 25K plus in monthly revenue on your lowest month. And to get the right uh, rates or the right factor rates is what they're called. It's a total payback. You kind of take it that way. It's not traditionally amortized like a business loan from a bank or somewhere else. But to get a better rate, it's even if there's not a credit check, like the risk is already associated with your revenue and more. But with the other ones, when they're looking at a lot of credit, like if you, your credit is less than 600, less than 700, like if you're not in the right now, 751 and above, like it's hard to justify getting you even a 1.3 on average, a good rate, somewhat of a good rate and getting anything less than that. It makes it harder to, if you're 725 and above, it could, or 700 at times, it depends on your industry. There's a lot of factors that make up what your rate would be. I'm not going to get into that now, but just know that even with the higher rate, and it's not inexpensive money, are you using it to the best of benefits? You got to look at that. And this is your only option. You can use a credit partner. If you can go out there and get funding through credit and use personal loan, where they don't have to be an owner of the business, but somebody can guarantee it by using their credit, no co-signer, no co-borrower. That's not how these work for business. And then they can go ahead and maybe you do a balance transfer later on or something similar, move it over to credit cards, uh, move that debt, move that utilization. Uh, from credit cards you're using on your personal side or however you're trying to mask uh, whatever you're trying to do. And if they are a part owner and they have better credit than you and they want to do credit card stacking, you want to do that at multiple business credit cards or personal, but usually business is best, then 700 plus on all three consumer credit bureaus. If not, 680 FICO experience or 700 experience, sometimes 670 for a personal loan or 680 on all three with a, even a better lender to get even a personal loan. And that's usually the base of it for most of these. So you can look at that and I can guide you along the way, fill out the questionnaire form and I'll guide you with that. And then here you'll know the exact term, soft pull initially. There could be a hard pull later on because there's a lot of lenders that have changed things where it used to be like soft pull all throughout. You'd likely know if it's a hard pull. A lot of it is just hard pull nowadays with any kind of lender. So just know that expectation coming into it. And even at a soft pull level, that's why applying anywhere and everywhere isn't in your best interest at heart. So just going into a Google and typing in best business loan, like that's not always in your best interest. Even if those companies you've seen, they've been ethical, they funded people, that's not your best interest, honestly, because they're also getting paid by these providers to share with them, with you and to also have that platform and probably have a lot of people. And do they really care about you as a person? Have they ever asked that? Or have they even cared to understand you? And there's so much more when with my expertise that you would get that others couldn't show you. So you have to start somewhere. Example, 1,500 at a 1.45. You're paying back $36 per day, weekly 180, monthly 720, more or less, cost of funds. And there's numbers, variable adjustments, stuff like that. And if let's say 1,000, 120 per week, 1,500, four months, 135, 1,500 at five months, 110, and so forth. But don't always expect those five to six months or that lower amount of revenue and the amount you're getting there. But you see that here and how you can get started with your application. So that's what I will link you to down below in the description. You saw the form here. I even have one on ground up construction right here. There you see. And for real estate, for all needs on that. So you see here for ground up new construction, startup funding, if you needed to do that one, you can select from one of the two options or if you have multiple businesses, do that. And we went over this option. Uh, and I'll leave more information on this provider down below as well as on the questionnaire form. And I'll guide you through this process and sequence and make things more even customized for you. Uh, but there are different options for the self-employed, credit cards. There's a credit, cash flow, collateral, the three C's of funding that I always emphasize. And credit through creative credit back funding, we went into a little bit, just spoke a little bit about it. Cash flow or revenue back, which you're looking at here. There could be bank term loans, SBA loans, other forms. There's also collateral backed, which could be an SBA loan, which they look at collateral, when, how much you need to collateralize or anything, 50 or 500K at times that you wouldn't need to, but just do a blanket lien on UCC liens. And collateral, if you needed a cash out refinance, equity out of, or developable land, or some form of commercial real estate, uh, and you have account receivables, there's inventory, there's heavy machinery equipment, there's other stuff that we can look at as well. But that'll be everything for me. Look down below in the description for that questionnaire form and more information to get started. I hope you got a lot of value from this. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with others who you feel will find value from it. You don't have to though, that's okay. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate you doing so. 
and click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future content I'll be coming out with. That is all for now. Take care.